Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we did a fair bit of base construction, mostly working on structural stability and aesthetics for the base. And we also helped out Trader Jen on the other side of town, helping her get the mutants cleared out of her local area. But today, we have a lot of work to do. I was looking around at things that I can craft, and I'm making up some electronics in anticipation of both getting a farm and a generator here in the near future. But check this out here triple barrel shotgun we're pretty close to being able to make this as well we just need a little bit more forged steel so while we're out and about today we'll look out for that i did put the double barrel away and i'm gonna roll with the laser pistol freshly repaired with a rad remover just need to look around here and see if i have some ammo for it where am i stashing the ammo yeah the one drawback to these cabinets here is that i forget where i put things and so oh it's gonna be right here okay we've quite, got quite a selection of ammo here so it looks like the energy pistol or the laser pistol takes energy cells and we do have a lot of those so let's take a full stack of it and probably call it good on this front we do have some visitors here i find that number one we can't really crouch because if these guys crouch they can't see through the bars and shoot so that's an issue. There might be a better block selection to use here. Maybe we'll do railings instead. But we had the same thing as the couple nights before. I can't shoot any guns, but I can shoot the crossbow just fine and use melee. But if I start shooting, things will get very messy around here. And the base is in no condition to be fighting off massive swarms of zombies. So we have the farm plot blocks, but I also picked up some of these small water pipes, which it says can basically carry water from a water source up to the crop i don't know yet if if that just helps the speed of crop growth or if it's necessary for crop growth so what i thought i would do this morning is just plop a couple of these down here and a couple over here and somehow i made an an odd number i think i was planning on a slightly different configuration here but anyway uh the farm box is Right over here somewhere right there it is let's see if we can get some stuff growing here all right usually mushrooms potato oh nope that's not gonna work that's not gonna work uh-oh do we need water i think we need water and do we have water in the local area you're kidding me i'd have to pull water all the way from that thing over there i don't even want to go there <sighs> alternatively there's a big lake over here perhaps the the thing to do would be to just build a garden close to a water source somewhere else maybe we go into the movie theater and make a little bit of a garden over there and we'll just swing by periodically to check on it i we got the dew collector here <laughs> does that count I just dump all this stuff in here well with only eight water pipes i okay these are just yeah like regular old water pipes different configurations here man we could do like a whole piping system here on the base but we don't have water access to fresh water or <laughs> even not so fresh water you think there'd be like um like a water barrel water water pipes water purifier no i don't see anything okay so water source it is let's dig these up then and i'm just going to immediately head over and see if we can get this set up sooner rather than later oh right and i was just checking because i remember reading it needed a sprinkler as well a crop sprinkler that requires 50 levels into seeds and so okay this can't be a requirement connected to active water pipes will provide water to crops up to four blocks away okay hmm. all right we got to go over and test this out i i refuse to believe that i need to be level 50 in crops to start growing anything okay we're over here at the movie theater where there's a very small pond i'm hoping that if i just put the crops close enough to it that that'll count let's find out okay so we have crop plot let's just put it right down there into the water and that worked these now have water okay so that's not so bad after all just gotta had a gotta kind of you know sink it into some water here and uh, hopefully this will work and we'll just continue adding to this over time and getting more and more crops growing is everything working okay so these on the edge over here suddenly don't have water so 
Right, because they're not technically touching the water. So there's there's a configuration to this, it appears. Here, let's take up that. Okay, so all of these now have water again. We're going to have to just do, like, crop rows. Okay, so how about that right there? Just two linear rows and... We'll do that right there. That's close enough. Okay, that project is complete. Am I... Uh, completely out of gas. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the base. I was gonna say, am I ready to roll out or what? No, I'm not ready. All right, we're at zero percent. So if we run out of gas, you're gonna have to get out and push. Running on fumes, but we still made it. All right, I packed up some food and drinks for later, and we just got the fuel here. Fuel it up, and should be good to roll out. So we're on a quest today. We have got to get some books. We need some books so that we can advance in the electrician skill, and we also, well, I'd like to get some shotgun books, some rifle books. And we need a few more books to get the cement mixer. So off we go to the crack of books. All right, this is definitely the side of town that we wanna be on, but this Mo Power Store over here is not looking too hot. However, just across the parking lot here, we have a Mo Power electronic store that is seemingly in better working order. So let's start our day here. And then just over that way, if we look at the map here, I've labeled this area cracks. There are two crack of books over there. I will hit them both eventually. Um, I'm just thinking here though, let's park the vehicle a little bit closer just in case a writer stops by and starts beating on the vehicle, trying to steal tires and alternators and whatnot. Uh, we'll be able to hear the commotion out front here. All right, here we go. Let's get in here. Doing this solo today, hoping for the best. All right, yeah, we know the deal here. There is a security guard pretty close by. We don't want him to blow up. Spit, okay. Explosions, bad. We don't want massive fires today. And I do believe, whoop, many parts of this place would just burn to the ground. We'll search him up. What's he got? 14 dukes. Is he pocketing money out of the cash register or what? We do have a radiated white and I'm bringing him straight outside. Ooh, yeah, loosen him up with the energy pistol there. Oh, and of course he's the crawling variety. Oh, what's going on here? Big man over there. Whoop, taking hits now. Okay, there we go, the rad's down. Whoa, look out. Just barely missed that. Another cop out there is gonna make a bit of a mess here. This place was high security. They probably didn't want a repeat of whatever happened to that one. And this cop has nothing. Search that rad too, because I find that the rads have, they can have up to a thousand dukes in them or $312. What about this guy? Nothing. Yeah, I think probably the ferals and the rads worth searching. Regulars, not, not quite so much. It's feral here. Yeah, see, we're getting good money out of these guys now. All right, take a quick break here for a Nuka Cherry. That'll give us some run speed and other things. Let's just clear this place out while we have that bonus. Oh, the look at the pipes up here. Could I? Can I have those? Because that would... If I can get enough of these, I mean... No, that's just a regular short pipe. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what a project that would be, right? To string pipes all the way from, like, the movie theater pond up into the base. Yeah, I think we'll just, um... We'll have an off-site garden location. No big deal. We are just swimming in rads. That's two for this BOI, along with pretty much everyone else being a feral. Good thing I brought this thing. This thing works good. I like the fire rate on it, too. Should have a, maybe a couple more in here somewhere? Yeah, I think in here somewhere is usually this guy. Okay, and we're done. Time to loot up. All right, I pulled some interesting stuff out already. We'll go through the magazines all at once toward the end. And lastly, a shotgun magazine there. Six skill points. My goodness, I forgot to spend those. So what I'll do here is I will spend three points to get one point into Daring Adventurer. That's going to give us access to better trader items and you get more dukes from quest rewards. I'm going to take one into Lucky Looter and the remaining two will go into Big and Fast. We can swing the clubs a little bit faster. And let's go through some of those books there. Shotgun armor rifles one wiring book so far shotgun messiah book here for breaching rounds and the rest is gonna be sold probably but now we have a whole bunch of stuff to go through in here pallets to break down boxes to wrench TVs to wrench and a few more boxes of loot let's do it
night and good night Arlene. I think that'll just about do it for this place. I cleaned it out as best I could and I did get a couple more magazines, vehicles, tech, wiring, not as many wiring books as I would have liked though. There's four into electrical traps though. That makes, it gives us, that's a third of our progress into that, that magazine set right there. We did get five of these books here. Weapons of Tomorrow improves energy weapons crafting skill. Okay, good, good to know, read those. Oh, and there's four more wiring books right there and two more into robotics for dummies. So overall, Pretty productive looting run right there. Okay, so now we're off to the crack books. We don't have very far to go. They are literally just over here and there are freaking zombies everywhere. I even saw a feral ghoul, a radiated ghoul, just back there a bit. But here it is, the first crack book that we're looking for. Okay, I'm starting to regret not bringing anyone with me to help because we do have a bear problem out here and many, many zombies. Okay, that'll do for zombies, but uh, the, the bear is going into that cracker book over there. So before that happens, let's see if we can lure him over and kill him. Okay, that, that got a little bit closer than I would have liked. And here we go. We'll take these zombies out with the melee. Whoop, we do have barrels though. Look out. Last one right there, I think. Okay, we're all clear here. Well... You know, clear-ish. Where? Okay, there's that guy, the feral ghoul over there. Honestly though, looks like he's kind of stuck in a ditch over there. So maybe I won't worry about him after all, but these guys gotta go. Whoop, ow, who is that? Okay, now that the area is relatively secure, let's start off by opening up this police cruiser here. And that's good for the triple barrel shotgun that I was just about to craft. Wow, okay. Well, we don't have any shotgun rounds, but I will just take a quick peek at it. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta clear this place out now. Hopefully not a lot of fanfare here, and hopefully not a lot of fire either. I said no fanfare, and here I am at a third of my health. Probably because I never patched up after the last three or four times I got hit. But we're hungry anyway, so I do have breakfast in the truck. Breakfast, more like lunch at this point. We'll take blueberry pie and another nuka cherry. And the way to do this, in my opinion, is to just blow through, kill the zombies, and then we will clean up the loot once we're done. Okay, and I think that's all clear now. Man, that radiated cop gave me a run for my money there. <laughs> I was pretty afraid of that guy. Okay, time to loot up. I'll gather all the schematics together and we'll go over them at the end. All right, I've successfully gathered up all of the schematics and they're really starting to weigh me down, but I have to get this hidden stash that's up here. Don't leave home without it. And inside there's one magazine. Well, what would you expect in a bookstore hidden stash? One more shelf to search here, cooking book, and get out of here. Might as well search the body on my way out for some extra iron, and there was like a radiated hound that was in here earlier. That kind of gave me a little bit of a jump scare. Okay, so, ooh, 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 step away from the vehicle there, sir. Oh, speaking of that, what is going on now? What, am I radiated? Do I have a radiated disease? Oh boy, is that what the rad be gone is for, maybe? I don't know, I didn't see any sort of like a debuff. Let's just jump out over here and check on that. Yes, mild radiation poisoning is at 2.8%. I wonder if that's gonna, it's climbing. Yeah. Okay, and my armor is weakened. We'll have to work on that. That's my boots there that's getting knocked down as well as the iron chest piece. Okay, yeah, radiation poisoning's kinda going up fast. What do you say we take a bit of a brief pause here? Head back to the base and get the rad be gone. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, when that cop he spit at me and it was a direct hit, radiated cop vomit right directly onto me and that's what radiated me for sure. All right, here we are. We definitely don't want this getting out of hand. So, Rad Be Gone provides moderate relief from radiation. What? Can I see what radiation is doing to me? No, nope. you have mild radiation poisoning and will get worse quickly if you don't find some anti-radiation medicine. So that could be fatal fast. Okay, so we are going to, oh, cure radiation 25% right there. Okay, so definitely gonna take that, which kind of presents the question, how do I make some of that for myself? We got rad Z here. Okay, that will give you a chance to ignore it and take less damage from radiation, but rad be gone is locked in the medicine class and is made with nuclear material antibiotics. Okay, stuff that we have access to, except for Antibiotics, probably Jen would sell me some of those though. And I'm assuming chem station for this, but also just locked behind the medical stuff. So there's two more journals right there, two into scrapping for fun and one for the iron breaker mod. And I would like to try out 
that triple barrel shotgun. Let's just remember where I put the shotgun ammo right there. Switch that over. <laughs> there you go. Three 12 gauge buckshot rounds all at the same time. I wonder what the recoil would be like on that. Okay, before we proceed any further, let's go through the magazines. Three rifles, three armor, four into forge ahead. That'll be good for the cement mixer for sure. Wiring, robotics, get hammered. Home of Tomorrow, volume seven. That is good for deco items like chairs, pool tables, and pianos. Just need one, I'll sell the other. Shotguns, great heist book here. Four, you can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage if you're carrying your dukes, which means I gotta go get my dukes now. And finally, looks like one into home cooking. I'll take the big hitters, I'll take the handguns, and I'll sell the spear book there. Okay, I'm supposed to be carrying my money with me anyway so that I can make stops at the trader when needed, but that's gonna be in this crate here. There we go, nice. So now we can fall a height of, mm, I would say, Probably close to 20 meters. I mean, I'd say I can probably dive off of this, no problem. Just give that a quick test try there. Yep, worked good. Okay, off to the last of the crack of books. See if we can knock it out before nightfall. All right, and we're back. And isn't, this is like the bigger, is this bigger, this crack of book here? Can't remember. All right, I gotta get in here and check it out. We're in a bit of a hurry now. Oh, yep, this one. I remember where I am now. Whoop. Oh my god, rad cop. Oh jeez. Ruining everything already. Whoop, that's locked. Heading outside, please. That's what we got the triple barrel for. Oh my goodness, and we've got feral soldiers. <laughs> Why didn't I grab the soldiers? Ah. Okay, whoa, that was a narrow miss. We cannot afford to... Um. Oh jeez, he's gonna blow up next to my vehicle too. Okay, yeah, bring them all over here. I'm glad this isn't a quest because strongly debating just leaving at this point. Oh, now I can't move because I got no stamina into the car. Whew. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple donuts around here and get my stamina back and I'll get back into the fight. We did have a very brief fire there on the, the outside of the building. Okay, stamina is good again. I'd like to reload though. Let's just get a little bit more space here. Yeah, just park it down here. Whoop. <laughs> Wrong weapon. All right, that's two down. He's on his back end. He's dead, she's dead, and goodbye, Bo. Okay, feeling a lot better now. Yeah, the shotgun's working good. I like it. All right, so that probably does it for the chief threat for this place, I would hope, anyway. Let's just push in a little further, and if we see a cop, we are running out of here, because I don't want to ruin any more books or set the place on fire. Here we go. And who's lurking back here? There's always someone. Not today? Yeah, we got Big Mama back there. Okay, good thing I got this metal baseball bat. I was looking at the Big Hitters magazines last night, and, you know, at some point we'll be able to craft the metal baseball bat, but, like, next up, I think we're on the baseball bat right now, but next up is, like, the crowbar, and then it's, like, the metal hammer or something like that. Okay, we do have a rat over there. But, but yeah, we're not even close to, like, even unlocking the, um, all right, I drew him out. Not even close to unlocking the metal bat yet, but here we are with one that we found, plus I think I found two or three of them at this point. All right, bit of a heel break out here. I don't, I don't want to fight out here though, because there's so much fragile reading material, you know? I think we're doing pretty good though. Just take care of these guys and we'll have to head upstairs and kill the dog and all that stuff. Yeah, all right, who's waiting for me up here? Probably a rad. No, oh, bird. Not so averse to fighting rads up here on the rooftop, though. We do have ferals for sure. Whoa, fast mover suit. Get back. We do have a rad spider there. Whoop. Oh, you gotta like that triple barrel action, though. And as for Spider-Man over there, it's just weaken him up with that and finish him off with this. Oh, and we did have one more radiated cop. Just give me a bandage to get me ready for this and... We'll do one, whoa, good pop shot with that, and three with this, and then it's just the baseball bat. Just the baseball bat's all I have. Oh, fortunately I survived that. He is going to explode. I'm, I'm good with that. Get out of here. Okay, we gotta loot quickly now. I'll get as much loot as I can and I'll meet you at the truck. Oh my God, I just pulled a lever action rifle out of there. I'm very nervous though because Okay, they're on the outside of the wall there. <laughs> what a good find that was, though, in that little tiny wall safe back there. 
All right, we got about 10 minutes until nightfall when all the scary things come out to play, so just scavenging these last couple of bookshelves here. And we gotta get out of here. We cannot be here alone after nightfall, encumbered at that. And the truck is like halfway down the street too. <laughs> Great parking job on my part. I need a getaway man. I need a, I need a driver to, you know, come and scoot me out of these places. Well, at least I'm not encumbered at night. That felt good to get that little jolt of speed there. So we do have that going for us, and 99% clear, I guess. Let's get out of here. Oh no, I didn't. I actually pulled back in here. Here, I thought I was parked all the way down there still. My bad. So I think we're ready to call it a night. I have got a ton of loot. We'll go through it as soon as I get back. And oh, look at this. I did put the off-road headlights that we found there a couple days ago onto this. And apart from the sort of green tint or the yellow tint that everything seems to have around here, I'd say they work pretty good. All right, we're all tucked in back at the base here, and there's a look at the loot haul. So I did see this. I didn't check on it before, though. This is the extra insulation mod, which gives 15 cold resistance, which is really not something I've struggled much with, uh, the weather effects and such for a while. But look at the magazines here, a whole bunch more. This is a breathable mesh mod schematic. I Maybe this is like the, the hot weather version of the the insulation mod down here. We did find this power armor block buster mod, which can be installed into power armor arms and increases your fist block damage. <laughs> what? Do I have the arms? I do have the power armor arms. I'd have to probably take the watch off. I wanna, I wanna see what that feels like. Okay, give me some arms here. And what's a block that I wanted to remove before? Oh, these. Okay, so I'm doing like something like 30 block damage a pop there. <laughs> well, it's better than it was before, but I don't, that doesn't seem to apply to like tools, does it? I don't think so. And the tools are still doing way more damage. Block damage plus 1500%. With, with fists only though, right? Because it didn't seem like that was applying to the pickaxe for me. I'll hang on to that, but I am gonna wear the watch mod because I think it just has more utility to me right now. Anything else noteworthy here? We did get this Power Armor Radar Mark II schematic. So this schematic will give me access to a mod which will allow enemies to show up on my compass and can be installed into my Power Armor helmet. However, I was looking at the Power Armor stuff last night, so I, I have found a couple of these so far uh the sturdy shocks one most notably because that will remove all encumbrance slots however you see this icon right here that means i think that it needs to be made in a precision workbench which precision workbench here is unlocked at workstations 85 and i think you can also craft a utilitron robot here yeah advanced recipes including robotics also can do regular workbench and backpack recipes though so that could replace the regular workbench once we get there and speaking of getting there there's three more forge ahead books we're up to 50. okay so i'm gonna go through the loot i'm gonna read all the magazines and i'm gonna do a little bit of crafting and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning but before we cut things off, we, yeah, we got that lever action rifle there. Just wanted to point that out. But look at this armor quadruple pocket mod schematic. I picked that up somewhere along the way. Decreases encumbrance by four and can be installed in chest and leg armor. So I'm going to read that and then I'm going to see if I can craft it. All right. Looks like the guys are, have made contact downstairs. Why don't you head down there and see if they're okay and I'll get this crafting done. And good morning, everyone. It, well, it was a very populated area last night, now looking relatively clear outside. So what I was working on and what I'm continuing to work on, there's one more cement mixer rolling in. I've got the quadruple pocket pods here and I also have a generator. So it's time to kind of get some of this stuff set up here. So remove the double and add the quadruple. That gives me two extra spaces. And I already actually had the quadruple on the chest. Didn't even check that. So now I have one extra for selling. Value is 86, a little bit disappointing. I'll see if um, how much that increases the value of like the padded leg armor though okay so repairing padded leg armor goes from 28 up to 82 adding in the quadruple bumps it up to 192 so not as much as i'm used to but still a little bit of extra money there speaking of that quite a sell chest going on here we'll have to head over and get some of that offloaded here early this morning i want to go check on 
Uh, well, actually, we do have a mission to do. I think we'll probably do the mission first, tier one fetch, and then straight back over to the big rocket to see if we can get a good reward and see what the inventory will show for us. Oh, right. <laughs> I was already out here. That's why I had an odd number of farm plots, because I had already come out here when a couple of them were done and I was trying to arrange a little garden, but now we know that this is not going to work unless we want to go through the painstaking process of piping water over here, which I I don't know that that's a, a really effective use of our time. Also, I think I put these doors in a couple of nights ago and um, I'm gonna make the A-frame here red and I thought it might look good to have a nice red front door to match it. Okay, so generator in and cement mixer in over here, at least for now. And I do also have a wiring tool. It's up here, it's a tool for the workbench, but here we go again with a just random gunfire all the time. I did actually replace the bars here with railings as an experiment. I wanna see if this guy T-Peel can shoot through that or not, because it does appear that bars cannot be shot through. We might have a chance to see right here, right now. While I'm waiting though, I will connect up these couple of lights here. Okay, we got some nice interior crafting lights for up here, and then I'll string a couple of lights downstairs, and I'll get these all wired up on a timer relay probably at some point. Okay, are you shooting through, or what's the deal here? Nope, because that guy is coming up the ramp now, and nobody's wanting to shoot him. Hmm. How do we solve that problem? Who are you today? Cass. Welcome, Cass. And I just can't seem to sort all of this out. Because, like, at nighttime, I, I like to crouch down so that I'm making less noise, kind of going back and forth, because it just leads to less kind of traffic rolling up here. But, man, <laughs> there was a cop down there that blew up last night, lit a whole bunch of bodies on fire, so we had a little bit of a bonfire cookout down there. But yeah, we're getting toward the time where we need to go down there and clear out all the destroyed stone and see if we can get it replaced with at least some cobblestone. Anyway, let's uh, turn this off for the day. We don't need that running all along and we'll get the wire tool put back away. Extra cement mixer here for what it's worth. Just figured I'd have two to match the forges and uh, probably can start rolling on. Yeah, we need sand. Notably, we need sand for the bulletproof glass. We need to get the sand and then put it into the forge so we can get the bulletproof glass in. And then we should also have enough cement to make, well, no, we do not. We need sand and stone. So we do, after all, we need to go down there. We can get both of those materials out of the crushed stone. Maybe that's what I'll start off with this morning, once I get some breakfast. What do we got today? We got a uh, sham chowder and wash that down with some pure mineral water. Okay, so you guys are gonna be on cover me duty and I should be able to just dive in and out of the base now. No worries, we've got the dukes in our pocket. Great thing to have around. Okay, while I have the stamina bonus, I'm gonna get to work down here. We gotta clear out some of these goopy bodies here, get these out of the way. And then I'll just start kind of framing up what I envision as being like the pit. The pit, the trench, you know, same, same function basically. Just a place to contain zombies. And yeah, stamina is just a huge problem. It's never gonna end. Stamina is gonna plague me until the end of days when we're doing resource collection at least. Not having those points into Miner 69er, really, a, just, it's killer. It's killer. There's no other way to describe it. It is what it is though, we'll, we'll make do. We'll just, you have to cook some extra coffee and stuff and you know, we'll get there. Quit whining and get the job done. So I'm gonna build this out so that the, like the left and right border right here is basically aligned with the rooftop for the base. I just think it'll look better that way. And then at the very bottom, like the southern portion there, uh, will be a staircase leading out. So the thing I'm working on now is just figuring out how the staircase out of here is going to work. Cause it's going to go right underneath the sort of causeway, the ramp to get the zombies up. So they will exit up the stairs and then, you know, hook a, hook a right, go around the corner and up the ramp. Of course, I'm just using these regular shapes here for now. This would just catch on fire immediately tonight, so it's not going to be here for long. We'll have to commit to something and change it over to cobblestone immediately. All right, just cleaning up some of the goop over here. So here's what I'm looking at so far. So if we did, what I'm seeing here is that I think I want the staircase to go one further in that direction, the southerly direction, so that this wall here will flush up with this part right here and we'll end up converting this, yeah, to a three wide ramp because 
We don't need this sort of dead space here where the zombies are just in the standing position. So we will bring the ramp a little bit closer to us, kind of like this, a three wide ramp going all the way up. And we'll, we'll do the thing where we do the um, diagonal security gate in the middle there, which means that the back wall needs to flush up with the end because that'll end up providing support up into the ramp. Right, it's all coming together now, which means this will have to be, yes, uh, one further in this direction here. Okay, that's it for the slight remodel there. Okay, so is this looking about right? Yeah, we gotta take that up. We gotta take this up. And so when it's all said and done, it's gonna look something like this right here, I suppose. Which should give us the option of putting some traps in here at least. I don't know quite uh, what to put down here. We'll get to that another time for now. We've gotta focus on resource collection at least to the point where I can kind of solidify this or else we're gonna lose all of our work here. All right, so it's time now for some resource collection. We're gonna start off with a little bit of wood and by chopping down these burnt trees, we'll get a little bit of coal as well. Just get this wood so that we can upgrade the frames that we've already put down. Might as well, it gives us a little bit of XP that way. And with a nail gun, it's not like we're losing too much time. Now that we have the wood, I'm gonna zip in here and just do the wood upgrades to the, I guess the, the frame of the pit here. Just kind of get this solidified a little bit. And then we need the stone anyway, so I'm gonna come down in here and work on some of this crushed stone, this destroyed stone down here. It doesn't give you very much yield, but it gives you sand and stone, which kind of kills two birds with one stone. Plus, we gotta excavate it out of here anyway, so more like three birds with one stone. I'll just do the best I can to excavate it in such a way that I can collapse a lot of it out and not have to actually destroy every single block. And all the while in my inventory, I'm going to craft up some cobblestone rocks so we can get this upgraded and solidified before nightfall. Okay, last little bit on this corner here, and we officially have a frame set for the pit. I will just need to come down here. I was kind of thinking too, you know, while I was doing this, why not during horde night next time, why don't we lay a whole bunch of wood frames down here? so that eventually they'll all get set on fire and um, just torch all of the zombies that are down here. Like, I don't even care. We're not gonna get much loot out of them anyway, and the XP hurts us more than it helps us, so <laughs> why not just have a big cooking pit down here? It's gonna be a good time for sure. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much set on the building aspect of it. We do need to continue focusing on the resource collection aspect of it. In fact, I need to look around here and see if I can find some soil. Okay, we do have some farms nearby. That should be a good source of clay soil. So, hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we need to go do right now. We need to head over to this farm here and do some digging. Kind of just looks like an old potato farm back here. Do you see any zombies in there? Let's get out of here and check. I do indeed see even there's three Tommy zombies and, the, and one of them's a rat. We'll try to take care of him first. <laughs> he still just has no weight to him at all. Look, I can blast him 25 meters across the dirt. These guys didn't fare much better either. All right, well, we get some free potatoes out of this. That's nice. There's a military style duffel bag over here with some military armor parts. Good find. And did the zombies have anything? Oh, treasure map in that one. Crossbow bolt back, a bunch of money, nice. And a, and a coffee bean seed, which is cool. Seems out he's probably the, the farm worker here. I'll take a little bit of this wood here to replenish my stock after today. And I think I'll commit to doing this until about dinner time. I'm already starving anyway, so I don't wanna be here too long. We just need enough to kind of keep the forges rolling and to work on some cobblestone. I'd say a couple thousand should hold us over for a while. All right, that'll just about do it. Now I set a goal this morning to go do that tier one fetch job and then go check in with Johnny. So I'm gonna go get some dinner and then I'll meet you straight over at the tier one fetch. Should be pretty close by. Let's just drop that on the map. Yeah, it's like a hundred meters that way. All right, I'll meet you there in just a minute. Yep. This is the one right here. Nothing special going on here. Let's get out and hit it. Okay, I wouldn't say that we're in a hurry at this point, but I'm not here to kind of loiter around and search every nook and cranny either, because it is 1800 and there could be rads here. Whoop, there's our supply satchel. That's convenient. Got that over with. In fact, that was the whole mission, but I'm here. I might as well have the loot. 
Yep, and just always search the ferals. That's the third treasure map I have found in the feral today. Okay, from here, I'm just jumping down in against my better judgment. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, yep. Hang on a second here. We're, we're just getting uh, swarmed by rads here a little bit. Seems to be okay now, but what I definitely need to do is just open us up to the outside so that we have a good egress route. Man, those headlights are pretty bright, aren't they? High quality. Okay, the final battle. Here's a look at the lever action rifle. Whoa! Oh my... Yeah! Damn, that guy hits hard. Can I pin him up here? Yeah, we're gonna do the old one, two, three, and run trick. Ooh, how do you like that headshot? Kind of off hip there. And good thing I just had my mosquito steak, because I've got a pretty good stamina bonus going on right now. I did get an abrasion, and I need the health anyway, so I'll take my final bandage there. We'll have to see if I can craft some tonight. I know I am starting to run low on first aid. Gotta be a little bit more careful around here. That, or maybe it's time to head over to a poppin' pills and see if we can get some good first aid out of that. Although, in my experience, usually no. All you usually get are, like, splints and, like... I don't know, antibiotics. There's a good vehicle repair impact driver there. Although honestly, I don't see very much difference between a level two and a level five in that case. Cause the real utility is just doing the repair. Whoop, where are you going? Come back down here. Oh my God, she's all over the place. Nurse, do you have any bandages on you? That'd be great. I think the radiated nurses should have first aid on them and not 10 iron. That makes no sense. And we're good here. Main loot, what do we get? Not much. Mo power box, just looking for magazines. Yeah, some Tech Planet magazines, that's fine. You're really looking more for like the wiring books though. And that pretty much does it for this place. Oh, forge ahead and another good ratchet there. Some calipers. I think I already had a level five ratchet, but no, I had a level six, my bad. Yeah, definitely gonna roll with a level six. Okay, so we're done here. Let's go see Johnny. And here he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> Johnny, well done. what do you got for me here? Mm, not much. In fact, I'd probably lean toward taking the coal more than anything there. Here, let me just trade you 153 dukes for a couple of mods that I'm going to sell you here in just a second. Give me that coal. We'll turn that into gunpowder here. And another job. Oh, man, the tier one. So it's, we're stuck in the, uh, the tier we'll one cycle here. Deal. I'll take the barren land, coal mining, whatever, and do a quick sell off here. Last couple of things here, and that puts us up to close to 20 grand, so we could hire another Brotherhood member here pretty soon. But first, we gotta do a little bit of shopping. I bought some resources and some books, but that's about it. Let's just go ahead and read these. A couple into wiring, a couple into shotguns, and a couple into electric traps. We did unlock triple barrel shotgun level 5, so could consider crafting that tonight. Or, I think I've also unlocked the pump action shotgun but only at level two on that so a bit of a decision to make we do need forged steel to proceed with that broken vending machine here is that going to give you some steel indeed it gave me three so that's that's 10 percent of the way there for the pump action shotgun what we could do tonight is not hang out in the wasteland and instead go over to the snow biome and just drive through town doing street lamps in order to get some steel collected. I think that sounds like as good a plan as any, so that's what I'm gonna do. Probably just end up doing some of these cars as well because we're gonna need more engines. All the engines are in the generator. We also need some more gas. So, all right, let's do a big wrenching run tonight. Get as much steel as we can and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning.
Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.